I'm joined now by the winner of Best Irish Published Book of the Year, Lighthouses of Ireland by Roger O'Reilly. How are you? Hi, Roger. Great to see you. Congratulations. Thank you very much. Look at you with your big award. I'm telling you. <laughs> That's fantastic. Isn't that fabulous? Oops. Now I want to throw go. a quote at you, go on. which I loved from your book, which is, I can think of no other edifice constructed by man as altruistic as a lighthouse. They were only built to serve. That's Not right. my words, of course, G.B. Shaw there. That's exactly what, right. Why that phrase for you? Um, I think it's just uh, something that encapsulates what lighthouses are all about. Um, they're there to, to serve a purpose of keeping people safe. And, um, and I think they also, you know, they, they have a lovely romantic association for people. So, you know, there's a great sense of comfort about them. There seems to have been a huge response and interest in the whole story and the backgrounds behind our lighthouses this year. Obviously, the book here, a lot of talk on TV and radio. Yeah. What is the enduring appeal? Why do we just? Why are we drawn to the lighthouses? What it is about the romance of them? Um, I think it's. Uh, I think there's. Uh, you know, in in our stories, we have always grown up with, with towers and princesses and towers and, and um, and we of course are a seagoing nation. Um, and I think so, there's something about that that just attracts us to it. You know. Now, reading up about you, I'm yeah. informed you're an award-winning illustrator and writer now, obviously. Yes. For you then, was it the look of the lighthouse that first drew your attention? Was it that was the draw yeah. and then you filled in the text around it? As, as an illustrator, yeah, I was just drawn to them. I mean, they're always located in fantastic locations. Um, and, you know, you've got great big skies there and fantastic uh, colour schemes. So that was the first thing that drew me. But then once you started to read about the lighthouses and get the stories behind them, there's some amazing stories behind the, uh, the actual building of them and the people who worked in them. Well, this leads me very nicely onto my next question, which is, I know it's like asking about small children, which is your favourite, but maybe you tell us, maybe pick one lighthouse that's a particular favourite of yours. Um, well, I'd say a particular favourite of mine, actually, is, is St John's Point up in County Down. Um, I think it's just a beautiful lighthouse. Uh, it's the only lighthouse that we have that's black and amber. Um, I moved to Kilkenny a couple of years back, and black and amber, obviously, is very, <laughs> very important down in that Indeed. part of the country. Um, and it's just in a beautiful part of, of, of the, um, the world. The Torello Beach around the corner is just absolutely stunning um, and it's just in a, in a really lovely peaceful part of the, the countryside. So it's a great category to win. You beat off some fairly stiff I certainly did. I was very surprised. Had you a speech ready or not? No. <laughs> I, I, I said to myself, don't prepare a speech because I don't want to hex the thing. Um, but uh, it's fantastic to win. I'm really, really delighted. And what does winning the award mean for you? Um, for me, it means a number of things. It means obviously that the book gets so much more publicity, which is fantastic. Um, I hope people are going to, you know, pay attention and and, and hopefully go ahead and buy it. Um, you know, I have further projects down the road that I want to work on, and obviously this helps that as well. Um, but what you bring this in and say to people, I'm an award-winning uh, exactly. writer and illustrator. Every <laughs> shop I walk into, I walk into them like you that. You get a little light on top of it, Absolutely. like a little mini light. Later. Absolutely, yeah. So it's it's really important and it's really, really, uh, I'm, re I'm chuffed to win it. I really am. Yeah. Well, we are delighted to have you with us in our green room this evening. Thank and the heartiest congratulations. I think it looks like a fantastic, perfect Christmas book. I think so. Not quite a stocking, bigger than a stocking. Yeah, you know? yeah. But I think that would nestle nicely under anybody's tree. I think so. Listen, yeah. Roger, huge congratulations. Thank Enjoy you your much. evening. Thank you very much. <laughs> I don't my award.